Second Chronicles chapter 16. This chapter concludes the history of the reign of Azah, but does not furnish so pleasing an account of his latter end as we had of his beginning. 1. Here is a foolish treaty with Ben-Hadad king of Syria, verse 1 6. 2. The reproof which God sent him for it by a prophet, verse 7 9. 3. Azaz's displeasure against the prophet for his faithfulness, verse 10. 4. The sickness, death, and burial of Azaz, verse 11 14. Azaz's league with Ben Haddad, BC 929. 1 in the 6th and 30th year of the reign of Azabasha king of Israel came up against Judah, and Biltrama, to the intent that he might let none go out or come into Azah king of Judah. 2 then Azah brought out silver and gold out of the treasures of the house of the Lord and of the king's house, and sent to Ben-Hadad king of Syria, that dwelt at Damascus, saying, 3 there is a league between me and thee as there was between my father and thy father, behold, one have sent thee silver and gold, go, break thy league with Basha king of Israel, that he may depart from me. For and Ben-Hadad hearkened unto king Azah, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel, and they smote Ijon, and Dan, and abel Maim, and all the store cities of Naphtali, 5 And it came to pass, when Basha heard it, that he left off building of Ramah, and let his work cease. 6 Then as other king took all Judah, and they carried away the stones of Ramah, and the timber thereof, wherewith Basha was building. And he built there with Jabu and Mizpah. How to reconcile the date of this event with the history of the kings 1 am quite at a loss. Basha died in the 26th year of Azah, 1 Kings 16. 8. How then could this be done in his 36th year, when Basha's family was quite cut off, and Omri was upon the throne? It is generally said to be meant of the 36th year of the kingdom of Azah, namely, that of Judah, beginning from the first of Rehoboam, and so it coincides with the 16th of Azaz's reign, but then, chapter 15. 19 must be so understood, and how could it be spoken of as a great thing that there was no more war till the 15th year of Azah, when that passage immediately before was in his 15th year. Chapter 15. 10, and after this miscarriage of his, he recorded, he had wars, 5. 9. Josephus places it in his 26th year, and then we must suppose a mistake in the transcriber here and, chapter 15. 19, the admission of which renders the computation easy. This passage we had before, 1 Kings 15. 17, etc., and as I was in several ways faulty in it. 1. He did not do well to make a league with Ben-Hadad, a hewn king, and to value himself so much upon it as he seems to have done. 5. 3. Had he relied more upon his covenant, and his father's, with God, he would not have boasted so much of his league, and his father's, with the royal family of Syria. 2. If he had had a due regard to the honor of Israel in general, he would have found some other expedient to give Basha a diversion than by calling in a foreign force, and inviting into the country a common enemy, who, in process of time, might be a plague to Judah too. 3. It was doubtless a sin in Ben-Hadad to break his league with Basha upon no provocation, but merely through the influence of a bribe, and, if so, Certainly it was a sin in Azar to move him to it, especially to hire him to do it. The public faith of kings and kingdoms must not be made so cheap a thing. 4. 
to take silver and gold out of the house of the Lord for this purpose was a great aggravation of the sin. 5. 2. Must the temple be plundered to serve his carnal politics? He had better have brought gifts and offerings with prayers and supplications, to the house of the Lord, that he might have engaged God on his side and made him his friend, then. He would not have needed to be at this expense to make Ben Haddad his friend. 5. It was well if Azar had not to answer for all the mischief that the army of Ben Haddad did unjustly to the cities of Israel, all the blood they shed and all the spoil they made. 5. 4. Perhaps as intended not that they should carry the matter so far. But those that draw others to sin know not what they do, nor where it will end. The beginning of sin is as the letting forth of water. However the project succeeded. Ben Haddad gave Bashu a powerful diversion, obliged him to leave off building Roma and betake himself to the defense of his own country northward, which gave us an opportunity, not only to demolish his fortifications, but to seize the materials and convert them to his own use. As as death and burial. BC 914, 7 and at that time Hanani the seer came to Asa king of Judah, and said unto him, Because thou hast relied on the king of Syria, and not relied on the Lord thy God, therefore is the host of the king of Syria escaped out of thine hand. It were not the Ethiopians and the Lubims a huge host, with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet, because thou didst rely on the Lord, he delivered them into thine hand. 9 For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. 10 Then as I was wroth with the seer, and put him in a prison house for he was in a rage with him because of this thing. And as oppressed some of the people the same time. 11 And, behold, the acts of Azza, first and last, lo, they are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. 12 And as in the thirty and ninth year of his reign was diseased in his feet, until his disease was exceeding great, yet in his disease he sought not to the Lord but to the physicians. 13 And Azza slept with his fathers, and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. 14 And they buried him in his own sepulchres, which he had made for himself in the city of David, and laid him in the bed which was filled with sweet odors and divers kinds of spices prepared by the apothecary's art, and they made a very great burning for him. Here is, 1. A plain and faithful reproof given to Azza by a prophet of the Lord, for making this league with Basha. The reprover was Hanani the seer, the father of Jew, another prophet, whom we read of 1 Kings 16. 1, 2 Chronicles 19. 2. We observed several things amiss in Azza's treaty with Ben Haddad. But that which the prophet here charges upon him as the greatest fault he was guilty of in that matter is his relying on the king of Syria and not on the Lord his God. 5. 7. He thought that, though God was on his side, this would not stand him instead unless he had been Haddad on his side, that God either could not or would not help him, but he must take this in direct course to help himself. Note, God is much displeased when he is distrusted and when an arm of flesh is relied on more than his power and goodness. By putting our confidence in God we give honor to him, and therefore he thinks himself affronted if we give that honor to another. He plainly tells the king that herein he had done foolishly. 5. 9. It is a foolish thing to lean on a broken reed when we have the rock of ages to rely upon.
To convince him of his folly he shows him, 1. That he acted against his experience, 5. 8. He, of all men, had no reason to distrust God, who had found him such a present powerful helper, by whom he had been made to triumph over a threatening enemy, as his father before him, because he relied upon the Lord his God, chapter 13, 18, 14, 11. What? said the prophet, were not the Ethiopians and the Lubim a huge host? enough to swallow up a kingdom. And yet, because thou didst rely on the Lord, he delivered them into thy hand, and was not he sufficient to help thee against Basha? Note, the many experiences we have had of the goodness of God to us aggravate our distrust of him. Has he not helped us in six troubles? And have we any reason to suspect him in the seventh? but see how deceitful our hearts are. We trust in God when we have nothing else to trust to, when need drives us to him, but, when we have other things to stay on, we are apt to stay too much on them and to lean on our own understanding as long as that has anything to offer, but a believing confidence will be in God only, when a smiling world courts him most. 2 that he acted against his knowledge of God and his providence, 5. 9. Azak could not be ignorant that the eyes of the Lord run to and fro through the earth, strongly to hold with those, so it may be read, whose heart is perfect towards him, that is, 1. That God governs the world in infinite wisdom, and the creatures, and all their actions, are continually under his eye. The eye of providence is quick-sighted, it runs, it is intent, it runs to and fro, it reaches far, through the whole earth, no corner of which is from under it, not the most dark or distant, and his eye directs his hand, and the arm of his power, for he shows himself strong. Does Satan walk to and fro in the earth? Providence runs to and fro, is never out of the way never to seek, never at a loss. 2. That God governs the world for the good of his people, does all in pursuance of the counsels of his love concerning their salvation, all for Jacob his servant's sake, and Israel his elect, Isaiah 45. 4. Christ is head over all things to his church, Ephesians 1. 22. 3 that those whose hearts are upright with him may be sure of his protection and have all the reason in the world to depend upon it. He is able to protect them in the way of their duty, for wisdom and might are his, and he actually intends their protection. A practical disbelief of this is at the bottom of all our departures from God and double dealing with him. Azak could not trust God and therefore made court to Ben-Hadad. 3. That he acted against his interest. 1. He had lost an opportunity of checking the growing greatness of the king of Syria, verse 7, His host has escaped out of thy hand, which otherwise would have joined with Bashas and fallen with it. 2. He had incurred God's displeasure and henceforth must expect no peace, but the constant alarms of war. 5. 9. Those that cannot find in their hearts to trust God forfeit his protection and throw themselves out of it. 2. As as displeasure at this reproof. Though it came from God by one that was known to be his messenger, though the reproof was just and the reasoning fair, and all intended for his good, yet he was wroth with the seer for telling him of his folly, nay, he was in a rage with him, 5. 10. Is this as a? Is this he whose heart was perfect with the Lord all his days? Well, let him that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. A wise man and yet in a rage. An Israelite, and yet in a rage with a prophet. 
a good man, and yet impatient of reproof, and that cannot bear to be told of his faults. Lord, what is man, when God leaves him to himself? Those that idolize their own conduct cannot bear contradiction, and those that indulge a peevish passionate temper may be transported by it into impieties as well as into indecencies, and will, some time or other, fly in the face of God. Himself. See what gall and wormwood this root of bitterness bore. 1. In his rage he committed the prophet to the jail put him in a prison house, as a malefactor, in the stocks, so some read it, or into little ease. God's prophets meet with many that cannot bear a proof, but take it much amiss, yet they must do their duty. 2. Having proceeded thus far, he oppressed some of the people, probably such as owned the prophet in his sufferings, or were known to be his particular friends. He that abused his power for the persecuting of God's prophet was left to himself further to abuse it for the crushing of his own subjects, whereby he weakened himself and lost his interest. Most persecutors have been tyrants. 3. His Sickness. Two years before he died he was diseased in his feet verse 12, afflicted with the gout in a high degree. He had put the prophet in the stocks, and now God put him in the stocks, so his punishment answered his sin. His disease was exceedingly great, it came to the height, so some, it flew up to his head, so others, and then it was mortal. This was his affliction, but his sin was that in his disease, instead of seeking to the Lord for relief, he sought to the physicians. His making use of physicians was his duty, but trusting to them, and expecting that from them which was to be had from God only, were his sin and folly. The help of creatures must always be used with a knight of the Creator, and in dependence upon him, who makes every creature that to us which it is, and without whom the most skillful and faithful are physicians of no value. Some think that these physicians were strangers to the commonwealth of Israel, and were a sort of conjurers, to whom he applied as if there were not a God in Israel. 4. His death and burial. His funeral had something of extraordinary solemnity in it. 5. 14. They made a very magnificent burying for him. 1. A.M. Loath to think as some do, that he himself ordered this funeral pomp, and that it was an instance of his vanity, that he would be buried like the Gentiles, and not after the way of the Jews. It is said indeed, he digged the sepulchre for himself, as one mindful of his grave, but one am willing to believe that this funeral pomp was rather an expression of the great respect his people retained for him notwithstanding the failings and infirmities of his latter days. It was agreed to do him honor at his death. Note, the eminent piety and usefulness of good men ought to be remembered to their praise, though they have had their blemishes. Let their faults be buried in their graves, while their services are remembered over their graves. He that said, there is not a just man that doeth good and sinneth not, yet said also, the memory of the just is blessed, and let it be so.